Alright, this is the uh, IQ Air Compact that I've been using. We're going to do a particle counter test on it. Uh, we're not going to do your typical particle counter test where you uh, hold the particle counter at the exhaust. I always get zero anyway, but my counter is not really uh, good for that because it doesn't have a mechanical pump. Um, here is my particle counter, the Dylos DC 1700. Uh, 0.5 microns on the left and 2.5 microns on the right. Right now our counts are about 50,000 parts per cubic foot. You get that by adding two zeros um, to that number. And I have my software going, my logger software. And it shows right up here. And you can see where it goes to the 50,000, follow that line. And we've been having it going for a few minutes, so it's pretty stable right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut the door and fire up the IQ air for about half an hour or so and uh, see what it does to the air. The counts are about five to 600 on the counter, which represents 50,000 parts per cubic foot. Okay, we're going to turn on the IQ air on level six, full power. We are going to run my uh, Honeywell HEPA filter underneath it to kind of pre-filter it. That won't affect my test because this uh, this this only draws so much air you can't really force air into it so it won't make a difference for the test and uh, this will filter out the uh, larger particles to protect the uh, honey the uh, IQ air anyway we'll get the test underway here we'll crank it to uh, level six there you go we'll turn on this one pumping air underneath to keep the preserve the IQ air filters Sign off here, counts in the 600 range here. And we'll come back in about half an hour or so, see what happens. And I'll close the door too. Okay, here's our particle counts. And the IQ air and HEPA body wall filter have been going for about an hour and 15. It's a pretty big difference. had the door open for a second to come in here so the counts actually went up a bit now we'll take a look at our hour what we look like in the last hour here okay we're going to go to the last two hours it's been longer than an hour okay here we are starting out at about just under 60,000 parts per cubic foot up here, send the 60,000 parts per cubic foot, turned on the IQ air and the Honeywell on high power and look at how fast those counts uh, went down. Basically we started at uh, 2233 yeah, and it just went right down within like 10 minutes it just went right down to almost nothing here quite amazing uh, I'm going to zoom in for a smaller view here and go to the last hour, last 30 minutes we'll try here's the last 30 minutes you can see the particle counts are very low counts were actually 300 they're actually at one point here the lowest point was 100 parts per cubic foot we got the particle counts down to so two hours so the IQ error went from about 60,000 parts per cubic foot all the way down Way down to at the lowest point 100 parts per cubic foot. That's a pretty big uh, decrease in particulate matter. Here's the uh, particle counter. We are getting a zero reading every now and then. I actually came in the room here that's going to raise it, but we're getting a zero reading every now and then. And this is a more accurate test to keep this thing away because that's what the air that you're breathing is. Most people put these right at the inputs of the air cleaners and uh, 
this uh, counter is not that great for that because it doesn't have a pump. It uses a fan to draw the air in. But even if I put put it at the input, it shows zero. Trust me, I don't have to do it here, but it'll show zero. But uh, it's showing zero away from the, uh, the IQ air. This shows what this machine can do. And we'll take a look at the last 30 minutes. There's two hours. Software is pretty neat. We can zoom into one hour. And the last hour, you can see the counts ranged from 800 parts per cubic foot and kind of zigzagged well below that. And that's when I opened up the door, it spiked a little bit. But actually you can see there's uh, there's minutes where I was showing a zero here. Zero particles per cubic foot, 0.5 microns and larger. Several spikes there. Quite amazing. Uh, it would be interesting to see what this thing would have done with a, a 0.3 counter. Because there's, uh, there's at least 10 times many more particles at 0.3. Probably 100 times more even. So IQ Air is working great in combination with the uh, Honeywell filter to blow air under it. it. Cleans up the air quite well. So I highly recommend one of these things if you uh, have the money. There you go. There's our test going at zero reading away from the counter. Impressive. Just to show you that there's nothing wrong with the counter here, I'll do one quick test. Hang on. Okay, I uh, went to battery operated mode, turn it back on. See, so in very low counts here. To show you there's nothing wrong with the counter, and here's the input of the IQ Air. That always reads zero. Okay, now we're going to go into the dirty air here. Zero, you see that? I'm going to go into the air that hasn't been air filtered in a long time. And it goes from virtually zero to into the uh, 200s right away. The air's actually not too bad in here right now, considering I haven't had the air cleaners running in a long time. Just going to check the hallway as a comparison. And the three 200s. Let's see what it does in the hallway. And it goes way up. Compare that to the air in my bedroom from the IQ Air. It's just amazing. There we go. Oh, it has very dirty air. Go back in here. Counts come down. They're higher than they usually are because I haven't had the air cleaners running all day just so I can do my tests. I can't really test when the counts are too low. I have to purposely get my air dirtier. But we come in here and the counts come down. I turned off my uh, software here, but quite impressive what this uh, what this IQ air machine can do. And it filters out, uh, they claim ultra fine particles as well. A lot of the HEPA filters don't touch the, uh, the sub 0.1 micron particles, but this one claims to. Alright, hope this uh, video helps and get an IQ Air if you can afford one. Okay, a few more comments regarding the IQ Air in my test. Um, the first reason my test was good, excellent results, I got my particle concentrations in the test down to less than, than 300 parts per cubic foot at 0.5 microns in this bedroom which is actually quite amazing. Um, the reason why my test was so good is I had the door shut. I wasn't in here stirring up any uh, dirt. Uh, it's a very small room, 10 by 12. I think UI Care is designed for larger rooms than that. Uh, that's why my, my results were so good. And because I do a lot of dusting, uh, I use the vacuum uh, 
regularly. A few days before the test, I vacuumed the entire carpet. The bedding got washed under the dresser, under the bed got vacuumed. All the walls, every ornament that you see, everything on the computer desk was vacuumed with the Melia attachment and brush here for a wet rag. And I even pulled the desk out, pulled the uh, filing cabinet out, did the walls behind there, everything. So there's like no dust, uh, literally dust free in here, it's amazing. I don't do that kind of cleaning all the time, just when I have time, maybe twice a year, I'll do a really good cleaning. Uh, once a week I just do a fast cleaning wherever I can get, don't move anything. But that's why my, uh, my test was uh, so good. And I see a lot of people, they wonder why they have an air cleaner and they still have dust. And you're always going to get dust. Before I did my cleaning, I did have a layer of dust on here, even with the air cleaners going. That's because it's always being generated. Uh, like most of the stuff you see is from your dead skin, uh, which is always fluffing off into the air. Lid fibers, clothing, you just take your clothing off, changing your shirt, whatever, all kinds of it goes into the air and it builds up. Uh, the air cleaner takes out particles that go into it but some of the particles would just infinitely be floating around the air. So uh, an air cleaner is just one tool keeping your, your air clean. It's not a be all and end all. It is a, it's a supplement to air cleaning. It's not a substitute for cleaning. It's not a substitute for elbow grease. Uh, having a vacuum like this, a Mila, which is great, and actually using it regularly, or uh, using like a wet cloth even, to get keep the dust down. Another thing I see people doing is to take their particle counters. Most of them are 0.3 that they use. This is only a 0.5. And they go right to the uh, exhaust of the air cleaner. And it's read zero. Usually a 0.3 or read zero also. And they take their counter away from the IQ air. And I see everyone's tests that they do. The counts just skyrocket. They absolutely skyrocket. If this was a point three counter, the counts would be a lot higher. And I really wish I had one. But their counts uh, skyrocket, and that's because they need to do more more house cleaning, or um, get another get another unit, or find out where the particles are coming from. Um, a limitation of this counter is, is that it is only 0.5 microns. It just gives you a small picture of the uh, particle spectrum because uh, there's lots of particles out there that are smaller than this counter can read. This is 0.5 microns, which is really small, way smaller than you can see, but really it's the tip of the iceberg for uh, particle pollution. Uh, Ultrafine particles are smaller than 0.1 of a micron, and they go down to 0.001 of a micron, like hundreds of times more than this thing can read. So this gives me really one little picture of the uh, particle spectrum. I won't be getting an ultrafine particle counter anytime soon. Um, very, very expensive. Um, very expensive. And also a 0.3 counter I may get one time. 0.3 would show the smaller particles than 0.5. And the smaller you go, the more particles uh, that there are. Um, but this is what I have for now and that's what I'm using. Um, in theory, if a, a filter captures 0 0.3, 0 0.3 micron particles, it should capture the ultrafine particles as well. Because 0.3 is considered the hardest particle to trap in terms of sizes go. Um, so we'll just have to trust that this thing is removing ultrafine particles as well. But if I had a counter that measured ultrafine particles, it would be, uh, you know, showing a lot, basically. You'd never get a zero reading. So just because this thing shows zero particles, it doesn't mean there isn't no particles in the air. It just means 0.5 microns and larger, which I said is the, the tip of the iceberg. Um, having said that, the IQ Air is a really good machine. I am so far very happy with it. I'm almost turning this into a kind of a review of the IQ Air as well. I've had this for over a year now. It's a little bit loud on high power. People complain about that, but I want clean air. I run it in full full power all the time. No way it doesn't bother me. If I'm on the phone or something like that or watching a movie or whatever, I'll shut it off sometimes. But, you know, for the most part, I'm, I'm used to the noise, and it helps me sleep, actually. Um, it's a good design. It's basically, it's got a pre-filter. 
and the motor's in the center, so it pulls air through the free filter and exhausts it out the, uh, the top. So it actually pushes air through the, uh, the main filter, which is good because some motors themselves are a source of particle pollution, um, particularly uh, brushed brushed type motors. If you're using a brush type motor for an air cleaner, don't because it will uh, something to do with the carbon rubs and it produces ultrafine particles which will get re, uh, released into your air. I don't think these fans do because I think they use uh, brushless type ones. Um, but that's one of the reasons that the counts are so low because it's any potential crap coming from the motor is getting, uh, getting filtered out. Uh, that might be more of an issue with the, uh, the box fan filter that I use there. I don't know if those use brushed, uh, brushless type motors or brushed. Um, I'll have to find out. Because if I did do a test with this particle counter on an air cleaner fan that was putting out ultrafines, it would show zero. Uh, and I would think it air cleaner is doing a good job. And meanwhile, it's putting out ultrafines that the thing's not reading and actually polluting your air. But the IQR, I don't think, does that. What an amazing machine. Um, definitely, if you can afford it, uh, go for it. And if you're wondering why I'm double filtering here, I've made another video explaining why I do that. It's on my channel. Basically, I'm double filtering the uh, filtering the IQ air just to preserve the filters, make them last a long time because they're very, very uh, pricey. Okay. Any uh, any comments? Uh, feel free to comment. And like I say, the number one thing. Air cleaners are only a supplement to air cleaning. They are not a substitute for general house cleaning. And this Miele vacuum, this S5, they make the S8s now, is an excellent addition to, uh, to your air cleaning. Again, it's got a HEPA filter in it, and, and that's good because all the uh, air uh, goes through the, uh, the filter. And I know vacuum motors can be bad for ultrafine particles. So uh, that's a different story. But anyway, feel free to comment and uh, stay clean and breathe free.